This week on Headlocked, WrestleMania is over. It's been one hell of a roller coaster ride ever since. Let's lock up. WrestleMania week is often the craziest time in the industry, but the immense high coming off the fallout of WrestleMania was arguably overshadowed by the sad news that the Ultimate Warrior had passed away. In what seems like a storybook ending to a tragedy, Warrior had finally made peace with the WWE, being inducted into the Hall of Fame on Saturday, stood tall on stage Sunday night at WrestleMania, and addressed his fans in the middle of the ring Monday before collapsing on his way home Tuesday. The news has deeply saddened the wrestling world, and it's unfortunate that shortly after achieving one of the top honors in the industry, we lost him so suddenly. His final words on WWE TV seem oddly poignant when he said, No WWE talent becomes a legend on their own. Every man's heart one day beats its final beat. His lungs breathe a final breath. And if what that man did in his life makes the blood pulse through the body of others and makes them bleed deeper, then something larger than life, than his essence, his spirit, will be immortalized. And with every ending, there is a new beginning, as Jeff Jarrett has finally announced his new promotion, Global Force Wrestling. By the time this episode airs, we should have heard more, but so far, Jeff and Karen Jarrett have announced that this will be the most fan-interactive, immersive experience in wrestling to date. Using social media and this newfangled thing called the Internet, they are saying this will be a fresh new alternative to the current product. Now, so far, Jeff is describing wrestling the same way my dad describes Facebook, but we're remaining optimistic. Innocent until proven TNA. Jarrett has a great mind for wrestling, and if his wrestler database is as big as he is claiming, this new boom period could be legit. On the independence, Chikara's return is in full swing. Along with their upcoming return iPay-Per-View, which I'll be at, say hi if you're there, they have teamed with Project Rooftop for the Recreate a Wrestler contest. Artists and designers will have the chance to redesign the costumes for Hollow Wicked, Icarus, The Shard, and Equinox, and the winners will be picked by a panel of comic industry veterans and Mike Crackenbush himself. The top three designers for each character win themselves a prize package full of DVDs, tickets, and more, and the winner will be hired and paid to work on an upcoming Chikara Comics collection. Jarrett, I appreciate all that you're doing, but if you want to be the most fan-interactive, immersive experience, you got to bring your A-game, because Quack's already there. And of course, this week's World Heavyweight Championship Douche Canoe was going to go to Jerry Lawler for announcing Epico as one of Carlos Colon's sons, and not who he is, his nephew, which, by the way, King, if you're going to talk about wrestling for a living, you may want to get to know the people you work with on a weekly basis. But lucky for him, Nancy Grace had to open her mouth on TV. As par for the course, when a wrestler dies, the news can't help but jump to their feet with the chance to talk about an industry they practically ignore during any other period. Nancy Grace had DDP on her show under the guise of celebrating the life of a man whose life was unfortunately cut short. What actually happened was a tirade about steroid abuse in the WWE. Yes, it was a thing, and yes, I'm skeptical about Mason Ryan too. But being that a cause of death hasn't even been confirmed yet, it's a little too soon to be playing the blame game. That said, lying to DDP, vulturing on the steroid subject, practically salivating at the lips for a chance to capitalize makes her a bad person. But, well, this went too far. So many wrestlers dead. Now accusations of steroids and illegal drugs swirling. Take a look at wrestlers who died young. To Dr. John Hong, internal medicine physician. All right, stop. Right there. You see that? How are you going to have a conversation about steroid abuse and include Owen Hart as part of your point? Steroids do not secure the man's harness. Steroids do not make the man fall to his death. Now you're just playing on the lack of knowledge of the general public to prove a point which for the most part isn't even there. 
Now anything you say to the industry is completely irrelevant. Anything you say to the general public is marred in opportunistic fear-mongering. Jeez, if you were going to jump to conclusions and start villainizing anyone, at least wait for the body to get cold, you world heavyweight championship douche canoe. Much like WrestleMania, it is time to cool down from this week's headlock. What do you think? Are you ready to join the force? You looking forward to seeing Jeff Jarrett as champion again? Well, tell us in the conversation below. Also, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the Facebook pages of both us and JuiceMakeSure.com, the revolutionary force in Smart Mark Entertainment. Those of you who came out to Boss Tweets for WrestleMania, thank you. We hope you had a good time. We had an absolute blast, and it was such a success that we will be doing it again soon, so keep an ear out for that. Until then, thank you for watching. My name is Noah Waterman. Please, don't try this at home. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> ah, yeah. It's good to see you, man. Good to see you. Right on. Yeah. We're out of time. Ah.